what is up you guys it is Sammy Cole and I am back with another video so for today's video I know this was like a challenge I think maybe like a year or so ago um, but one of my best friends Jocelyn suggested and thought that it would be really fun if I did like a random number picks my eyeshadow type of look so I agreed because my other products that I'm waiting for to film some other videos have not arrived yet. So this is something that I could do with the palettes I already have. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. Please don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and let me know what you want to see in future videos. And let's go ahead and get started. Also, no, I don't know what's going on with my hair. I attempted this like slick, flick back type of thing and it just isn't doing what I need. I, this is why I have to watch tutorials before I literally do anything or it looks like this. So please, whatever, just don't look at it. Just don't look at it. And also, if you want to see my self tanning routine, I will put a link in the description. I did a video on that, so please excuse the splotchiness on my neck as well. We are a mess, a beautiful, beautiful mess. So to do this random number picks my eyeshadow, I am going to be using my Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette today. I'm just gonna number one to 35. I'm just going to generate a random number and I'm going to use them in the order that they are generated. Put them on and see what type of look I get. I'm praying that this turns out okay. Everybody, let's just pick them up. All right, so I have a random number generator app on my phone. I'm going to attempt to put the screen recording right here and see if I can do that. We'll see. But we're going to go ahead and look at the first number. 10 was the first number. So we are starting with feel, feeling myself. Such a bright color to just start with. Okay. So I am using mostly Jaclyn Hill brushes. If I'm not going to use Jaclyn Hill brush, I'm going to use um, a blinged brush from the Starry Night Collection, and I will try to remember to tell you which one I'm using. Um, so right now, I'm going to go in with the JH40. So this is like a little bit more of a tapered tapered brush. Sorry, I keep looking at the viewfinder just making sure my quality is okay. Um, we're going to go into feeling myself, I think. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that like, ooh, we creasing. I'm going to put that like right up in here and see if we can get some transition colors before I just pack my first shade in the outer corner. All right, so the first shadow is down. I also am doing my other eye at the same time. So one, I remember what colors I'm using, and two, so if this turns out insane, I don't chicken out on just finishing the look. So we're doing both eyes at the same time. Let's go with color number two. 16. This is like generating really fast. I was hoping that it was going to be more suspenseful, but the numbers are generating this. So 16, 16. All right, we're using G Money. Nice. That's going to be a good transition shade. All right, so I am taking the JH33 and I am putting that G Money on there. All right, color number three. I don't have a plan as to how many colors I'm doing. I didn't think that far ahead. Um, I'm just gonna keep going until I feel like we're at a good place. Ooh, 
One, two, three, four, five. Perfectionist. I'm going to blend that out. I'm going to use that to blend out the top of where we just put G Bunny. And I'm putting this on a JH40, the same one I used for this first one to just kind of pack this on there. We literally like lost that first color. I might bring it back depending on what other colors we get. I might stamp a little bit more in there. Just like softens out the edges of G Money a little bit. Next number. Please. 19. Okay. 19. So that's 7, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Grateful. And you know what? I am grateful that these colors are going together. So we're just gonna. I'm taking. I'm taking a JH32 and I'm just packing that on the outer corner and then just swooping it in. Swoop. So slightly. Oh, we're doing an orange look to match my chest. All right, here we go. I need a shimmer from a lid, please. 15. <laughs> that gives me. Row one is one through seven. 8 through 14, 15, a shimmer, and it's flawed and odd, wouldn't you know, it's a little bit, a little bit of an orange. I'm not sure if like somebody is mocking this by doing an orange look, or maybe mocking my ratchet nails, uh, but you know what? It's working for me, so here you go. I need a flathead brush. Everyone moment, please. All right, so I am taking the JH41 Malo flathead, and I'm dipping that into flawed and odd. This look could be the face of the Cheeto brand, along with the rest of my body. I know I probably should just call it here and just use the same shades on my bottom lashes, but you know, I'm just really feeling like I want to keep going. I want to take a risk and see what happens. One, I really wanted an inner corner bright color and that's really why I was like still going. So we are going to go in with certified and we're gonna put that in the inner corner. I don't think certified, I think certified is a matte. Yeah. But it'll still brighten up that inner corner. Alright. We're gonna take we're taking risks here. Yeah, we're taking risks. Thirty-three. So if this is 35, 34, 33, that is, oh, hello. I'm taking the JH43, which is this little definer brush. I'm gonna put a little, oh, hello on there. And we are gonna stamp that right on the bottom lash. All right, I think I'm gonna go and do one more number to just blow out the bottom lashes and smoke it out with, and then we're gonna call it a look. 11. All right, so we're getting back into, I think, my zone here. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, homebody. So we are gonna take homebody, and I'm gonna blow out that, oh, hello. I'm taking a the JH42. I just need to clean that up because I blew that out. We had a blowout on 
this eye. Just try to reel that in a little bit. And we're gonna make this one back. If you wonder why I do this, watch your previous video. Alright, so I'm gonna go pop on some eyeliner and some lashes and I will be right back. Alright guys, so that is this look all complete. I did decide to not put falsies on. I'm just not in the mood for it today. Um, but I did take the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black um, and I did just do that and curl my lashes um, and I took a nude eyeliner pencil to put on my waterline. Shout out to my girl Jocelyn for suggesting it. I had so much fun making this um, and I'm so glad this look turned out the way that it did um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you guys liked watching this, please go ahead and subscribe, thumbs up, um, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And if you have any suggestions, please comment below. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks again for watching, and we'll go ahead and see you in the next one.